let's try this again. I keep getting stuck on side stories. Um, I made the grave mistake of reading comments before I filmed this video, and uh, I keep getting stuck on those. So, basically, let's sum those up real quick so I can just get out of my system. Everyone that was saying that I'm just a bad parent, I'm an enabler, um, I provoked him, I fought back, um, I should have fought back, um, I mean, there's just extremes all over the place. Uh, so yeah, I'm an enabler. Yes, I'm a terrible mom for putting my kids through that. I didn't want to put them through that so long. I was expecting to get out a lot sooner than I did, but I unfortunately had some unfortunate circumstances that set me back. Um, and yes, I did try to escape sooner than I actually did. I tried escaping many times even before I got pregnant. Um, there's an incident where I hopped into my car and I grabbed a suitcase and I started to drive off and he jumped on the hood and he wouldn't get off and I didn't want to kill him but I wanted him off my car and I wanted to get away from him and he called the police and said that I tried to run him over and the police believed him because he's that powerful of a manipulator. And I was like, as I told the police officers, how could I try to kill him when he's on top of my car and won't get off? But they didn't seem to hear that part. Um, so there's that, and then there's a time where I stabbed him with a fork um, because he was breaking into my room. He wouldn't let me leave. Um, he jumped on top of me. I had a fork in my hand because I was eating, and I stabbed him with it. It was just a reflex. I didn't mean to stab him, but I totally did. So yeah, I did fight back, and I know that's you know not bad, or that is bad, but um, he jumped on top of me. I was scared. I reflexed, and he called the police, and I almost got arrested that time, too. Um, and yeah. So it's not like I'm innocent in it either. I'm a bad person. I fought back. I couldn't keep my mouth shut. Um, but I also, I was also a victim. So it's, it's kind of goes both ways. Yes, I enabled. Yes, I was a bad mom because my kids were there. Yes, I should have left sooner. Um, it was very hard because it's like, oh, well, why didn't you leave? Well, that was my house. Oh, well, why don't you get a restraining order? That's a piece of paper. That um, just pisses them off and ends up putting my name on the RIP list. Um, <laughs> well, why didn't you do this or leave or get family to help you? Didn't have family. I tried uh, getting them out. I tried having to live in nanny. Um, I had people interviewing to stay with me, live with me, take care of the kids while I worked, um, and then have free rent and I pay for their food and help them out as well. And um, anytime I had those interviews, he ended up coming to the house and, oh God, he would threaten them, he would scare them, and I lost all those opportunities. So it's just like every step I took, he just counteracted it just with brutal force. So it was not an easy thing. So. Um, when I was pregnant with Zoe, I had a couple incidents where he brutally attacked me. Um, he almost threw me down the stairs once, uh, but I'm not sure if that one, I still kind of feel like that one was kind of an accident. I don't know. I mean, it was definitely anger, and it was definitely almost resulted in me going down the stairs upside down, but I didn't, and it was kind of scary, but it kind of was like, oh, I was fine. Um, and then there's another incident where I climbed into the tub trying to get away from him, and he put a hole in my tub. I don't know if I said that already. Okay. And then also there was, uh, when I got my scar, this, uh, this little scar right there. That's from when I was pregnant with Zoe, and I was trying to leave, and he wouldn't let me leave. And I tried the front door, and then I went to the back door, front door again, the back door. He slammed into my head, gave me a big old gash on my forehead. I was bleeding out, and uh, he was the one that called 911 to get the ambulance over there. He manipulated me into somehow feeling guilty for him, like it was my fault that he made me do that to that it was my fault that I made him do that to me and make me bleed out and gash on the floor and I'm sitting there holding a rag to my head, bleeding out, like I'm bleeding, gushing out and uh, going, it's okay, baby, it's okay, it's fine, you didn't mean it. Like, wait, what? 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 Okay, and you think, oh my God, she's so stupid for doing that. Yeah, I was, but I can say that now. In that situation, I mean, God, he should have been a lawyer. It was insane how manipulated this... I mean, these guys are just like pros. Pros at being manipulative. And, uh, okay. And so I got my scar. Uh, 
um, he got away with that one basically, he got away with murder, I had Zoe, and then um, I was making plans to try to escape, I tried many different options, I tried escaping and just leaving, I tried um, doing all this stuff, and it, I tried even just researching how to escape an abusive relationship, guess what, he saw that. For like three weeks after that, I had to be very cautious with what I did because he already saw that I was looking to escape, so he already kind of knew. And so I spent three weeks just kissing his ass, trying to protect my safety because he was like a loaded gun ready to pull the trigger and kill me and my baby because I was planning on leaving him and he was about to lose all control. And it was a scary three weeks, all right? So he was acting fine, but he wasn't. It was like the calm before the storm where he, you would like be watching TV, think everything is just like settling down. You'd look over and he would have the death stare on you. I mean, I was scared. So screw the Googling stuff. If I Googled, I Googled at work and I would delete that history and only that history. And if, you know... That would be that. So um, I had to be more strategic. So I started, one, find a good job. That was my main thing. I needed more money. At the time, I was working three days a week. We were barely making ends meet. I was supporting me, a baby, and an abusive man who would steal every extra penny I had. Um, so I had to be very cautious on money. I had to, like watch my back all the time so I needed a better job to support it and I knew that like I'd have to find a better way to hide my money because he managed to get into my savings account my checking account I had zero dollars all the time my mom used to call me up and be like are you in overdraft again and I was like yes okay I know I'm in overdraft again okay I know I know don't remind me um and it was rough. It was really rough. So first thing, I got a new job and I got the best job I could get, right? At the time, it was the best job and it was a job I needed. So at this job, if I stayed there for one year, I could transfer to anywhere I wanted and I could get out and still have a job on the other side, which was a dream come true, which meant that if I tried to save money, but he ended up getting hold of it and stealing it, I'd still have a job. So as soon as I got a paycheck, I could just use that paycheck to get from point A over here to point B over here where a family member is, and that's all I needed was that one paycheck. They could help me out for a couple weeks until I got paid again after I got my check there. So that was just a heaven send. Um, but the trick was I also had to last one year. Okay, so I got that job and it was like in August of 2000 and 2016, I think it was 2016 I got that job. Um, so I had that job and then of January 2017, I found out I was pregnant with baby number two. And why get pregnant with a baby number two, you ask? How would you let yourself have a baby with an abusive man that you don't want to have a baby with or stay with? Why do you ask that? Well, I know why you ask that, but why would you do that? Why would I do that? So, the story behind that was I was on birth control, okay? I was. But during one of our disputes and our fights, my year supply of birth control ended up going down the toilet because I was accused of taking it so I could sleep around with whoever I wanted and not worry about getting pregnant. Yeah. Doesn't make sense to me either. But I lost all my birth control because he was insecure about it. Um, and then I was like, well, oh, great. Um, and I was very cautious. And I tried to be as cautious as I could. But unfortunately, if you say no to a man like that, um, all hell breaks loose. So you have to maintain a persona until you can get out. And I was trying to do that. Um, and I would tell him, no glove, no love. Um, and then when he would get rid of the glove, I would take the day after pill. But unfortunately, I am a mom supporting a baby, pregnant with a new one, and supporting a man. Oh, well, I wasn't pregnant yet, but I was supporting me, a baby, and a man. And I couldn't afford the day after pill every week. 
or twice a week. So eventually I ended up getting pregnant. And I tried my best to make sure that I didn't get pregnant. And he knew I was buying the day after pills. And I think that's why he was doing it so much is because he knew I would run out of money. And he was trying to get me pregnant. Pretty freaking darn sure. Can't prove that. That's just my opinion. But that's my opinion. Um, so that was that. And I did get pregnant again. And oh shoot, I'm running out of time. I'm going to have to do a part two. So uh, stay tuned.